Mansory Flying Hypercar Mansory, a luxury car modification company, has unveiled the concept of a flying supercar named Empower. This unique concept vehicle floats in the air when idle or parked, eliminating the need for wheels. Its design appears to draw inspiration from carbon fiber automobiles and hyper vehicles that Mansory has previously modified, including brands like Mercedes and Lamborghini. The Empower features large front windows for panoramic views and doors that open upwards, similar to certain hypercar models. These include conversions for the all-electric Rolls-Royce Spectre, the hybrid Lamborghini Revuelto, and the Ferrari Purosang. Mansory also plans to introduce new wheel designs and innovative ideas for interior refinement and carbon part production. Bellwether EVTOL Industries, a startup based in London, has unveiled an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft called Oryx. The Oryx is a Voler, a new category of urban air mobility UAM, aircraft designed for private use. It features a hidden electrical propulsion system and a wingless lifting body, making it suitable for urban environments. The Oryx, a third-generation Voler, demonstrates improvements in the lifting body and flight control system. It is designed to carry one pilot and two passengers, with plans for future designs to accommodate up to four passengers. The Oryx boasts extended flight endurance and optimized performance and control systems for navigating complex urban environments. Bellwether Industries has shared footage of a test flight of its half-scale EVTOL aircraft and aims to secure approval for personal use in Europe by 2028. Airbus has launched an initiative called Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Plus to redefine the future of air travel. This initiative emphasizes sustainability while ensuring high levels of comfort. The vision is driven by three main principles, transparency, decarbonization, and circularity. By 2025, Airbus aims to provide complete transparency on the environmental impact of cabin parts and operations, offer cabin options with reduced CO2 emissions, and establish a framework for managing the end of life of cabins. By 2030, Airbus plans to introduce new cabin interior solutions and materials with low CO2 impact, reduce waste during cabin product production, and establish new end-of-life management approaches. By 2035, Airbus aims to integrate the next-generation cabin in a hydrogen-powered aircraft, achieve zero landfill and incineration of cabin materials at end of use, and establish a circular cabin based on the elimination of waste and pollution. One of the concept seats that exemplifies Airbus's vision is the C-Suite. It showcases various aspects of sustainability from cabin efficiency and weight reduction to new materials and processes, as well as a circular design approach. Gyroscopic transport concepts envision a new form of urban transportation that could potentially replace buses, trams, and trolleybuses in future cities. These concepts propose large, disc-shaped vehicles that move on wheels, elevated above traffic, and overlap to form multiple layers of travel. A notable concept is proposed by Dahir Insat, which features vehicles balanced on gyroscopes and are highly flexible. These vehicles are stilted on expandable legs that can adjust their height to navigate under bridges and vehicular overpasses. Inside, passengers can sit in rows like in a subway or bus, or ride in luxurious pods equipped with comfortable couches and TV sets. The gyroscopes are initially powered by flywheels wound up in the morning, and solar panels supply energy throughout the day. However, it's important to note that while the concept is promising, there are no prototypes or tests yet to prove its feasibility. Airbus Pop-Up in partnership with Ital Design has developed a concept called Pop-Up to alleviate traffic congestion in megacities. The Pop-Up concept is a modular transportation system that integrates air and ground travel. 
It comprises a passenger capsule that can be attached to a ground module for road travel or an air module for flight. The ground module functions as an autonomous car, while the air module operates like a drone, propelled by eight counter-rotating rotors. The passenger capsule can detach from the ground module and connect to the air module to bypass traffic congestion. The entire system is managed via an app, which recommends the most efficient mode of transport based on the trip specifics and the passenger's preferences. The pop-up concept is designed to be emission-free, with the electric pod constructed from Monaco carbon fiber. After transporting passengers to their destination, the pop-up returns to a charging station to recharge its batteries. VRCO Aircraft The XP-4 is an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft under development by the UK-based company Vehicle Redesign VRCO. This four-seat aircraft is designed to have a flight endurance of approximately 60 minutes and a cruise speed of 184 miles per hour. The all-electric design incorporates four tilting duct fans. VRCO has been working on the Scraft XP4 since 2015. As of October 2021, the development timeline for the XP4 anticipated flight testing to commence in 2022, with the type certification process beginning in 2023 or 2024. The company aims for the aircraft to enter service in 2025. The XP4 is expected to feature a high degree of automation in the cockpit and a safety hull aircraft parachute. VRCO envisions both cargo and private transportation as potential applications for the vehicle. Hill Helicopters HX-50 The HX-50 is an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft developed by the UK-based company Hill Helicopters. This luxury private helicopter is designed to deliver exceptional performance, safety, and ease of flying. Powered by a 500 shop horsepower engine, it boasts a cruise speed of 140 knots, a maximum range of 700 nanometers, and a payload of 1,760 pounds. The HX-50 features a three-blade rotor system and an in-house GT-50 turboshaft engine that delivers 400 horsepower. This enables the helicopter to achieve a cruise speed of 161 miles per hour and a range of up to 806 miles. The retractable landing gear reduces drag, facilitating a faster, smoother flight. The HX-50 offers customization options, allowing you to create your own color scheme, both inside and out, and select some refinements and extra features for enhanced operability. The base price for the HX-50 is £595,000. Virtual space tourism is an emerging form of space travel that allows individuals to experience cosmic environments without leaving Earth. This technology makes space tourism more accessible and expands its itineraries. For instance, Worldview offers a virtual space tourism flight to the stratosphere, providing a comprehensive launch-to-landing experience of what it will be like aboard the Worldview Explorer spaceflight capsule. Similarly, SpaceX's Lunar BFR mission, which could launch as early as 2023, will be live-streamed in high-definition virtual reality VR, making viewers feel as if they are part of the mission. This mission will send a Japanese billionaire and several artists on a trip around the moon. These virtual experiences aim to provide a taste of space travel from the comfort of one's home. The Air Car The Air Car is a futuristic vehicle concept proposed by Lazzarini Design Studio. Powered by four Rolls-Royce jet engines, each engine can independently adjust its inclination and rotation, ensuring stability at high speeds and agility when turning. The rotation of the jet engines allows the air car to operate at variable heights and inclines depending on the cruising speed. The air car measures 6 meters in length and can comfortably accommodate a pilot and three passengers. 
It can achieve an estimated top speed of 466 miles per hour and has a range of 745 miles when running on jet fuel. However, it does not have retractable wheels for operation on normal roads. It's important to note that while the concept of the air car is exciting, it is still in the experimental stage and has not yet been implemented. Thank you so much for watching.